Hi, my name is Mark Grails. I'm the Field Service Manager here in Caledonia with CUB Rhineland. Uh, what we're going to be discussing today is um, eddy current tube inspection. Uh, this inspection method uh, uses a bobbin probe uh, which checks the inside and outside um, diameters and material for corrosion, hitting, and material loss. Uh, basically what's being done is we're inducing an eddy current into the part, electrical magnetical current into the material. Um, we have a known calibration standard, so we can set up our equipment. Uh, this calibration standard has an ID notch. It has a 100% through wall hole, 80%, 60, 40, 40, and a 20% OD group. Uh, this is an ASME calibration standard. It's uh, basically the way we set up our equipment so when we're running into defects or hitting indications, we can calibrate and get an accurate sizing for that defect. Um, the way this is done is the uh, probe is inserted through every tube or initially through the caliber of the tube. What we'll do is we'll start the equipment, pull the probe through. Um, it's being recorded on our machine over here. Uh, this would be the signature that we would get from the uh, indications on the tube. Uh, initially this would be our ID corrosion. Uh, this here would be our 100%. And we can verify that or we go through the calibration steps uh, to set the equipment so we know that that indication which is at 40 degrees is going to represent a 100% through wall hole. So the evaluation here is within 10% which is saying it's a 92% through wall hole. Um, as we walk it up we can go up to the 80%. That one's showing 86 within 5 to 10%. 60. 40. So these signatures are all representative due to the velocity or the uh, amplitude of the indication and uh, what they call the phase angle is the um, relevant signatures of a defect. Okay. <laughs> so this is a differential coil which has two in that coil that we looked at has two windings in it. They're comparing one to the other. So as it goes one way, it's dipping out of that coil, and then the other coil is sensing it come the other way. Uh, this is our absolute coil, which has just got one winding, so it's looking for the deviation in that one winding. Um, these are uh, X and Y graphs, uh, so we can graph the loops going up and then down. It's all relevant as to the direction they go, if they're relevant indications or not. Once our machine's set up, we can go ahead and actually pull the tubes, um, we'll monitor and look at the signatures that are coming down and then we can uh, save the evaluation again for, um, for the technician to review the data. Um, once the data has all been reviewed, uh, we generate a report out of it and then what we'll do is we'll exit, export it to our software that we can keep our permanent record of. So this would be a tube sheet which is showing multiple indications of different percent of wall loss. So as you see down here, we have the date it was inspected, the uh, type of pit it was. It was a pit, it had a 42% wall loss. It was represented on what channel uh, for that heat exchanger. Uh, the client list will be here, and we'll have multiple exchangers so we can keep a permanent record. Um, to monitor them on an annual basis, depending if the client is wanting an annual basis or uh, every other year or whatever their needs are. The uh, benefit of this is you eliminate the possibility of contamination of your products. Uh, you can find the uh, corroded tubes that have potential for leaking uh, ahead of time. What they'll do is they'll plug those tubes and eliminate cooling water or your product from going through the tube, therefore eliminate the possibility of contamination. Again, it's a safety thing and also a contamination of equipment and deterioration of equipment problem. So You're getting your corrosive product in your cooling water, it all bleeds downhill and you can have more problem in your vessels and other equipment. So your main type of customers for this are from? Main type of customers, locally here we have a lot of pharmaceutical companies or into your oil refineries type of application. And this is a field service, so we could go anywhere in the country field for this. Field service anywhere. This is all the equipment that's needed. Uh, we have multiple tubes 
or that we've done calibration standards. Uh, each tube material, diameter, and wall thickness need a calibration standard. So to set up, you have to have all of these uh, equipment to go ahead because multiple exchangers have multiple different tubes and materials due to their service condition that they're going to be into. Excellent. Thank all you right. so much.